How's it going guys? This is Pete from the Freedom in God channel. So, 9 out of 10 species alive today have arisen in the last 100 to 200,000 years, according to a new genetic study. This research looked at the select portions of DNA from 100,000 different species, and researchers found a telltale sign showing that almost all the animals emerged about the same time as humans. Not only that, the study also found, rather unexpectedly for evolutionists, species have a very clear genetic boundaries and nothing much in between. Hmm, humans and animals arose at the same time and there are genetic boundaries? Sounds like what you'd expect to find based on the Genesis account of origins. In an evolutionary worldview which assumes an ancient age for many of these species we have today, the results of the study are shocking. Indeed, one of the researchers said, The conclusion is very surprising and I fought against it as hard as I could. Evolution doesn't expect the vast majority of our species to have arrived at the same time, nor does it expect species to have these clear genetic boundaries. But this is what we'd expect in a biblical worldview. Indeed, it's what creationists have been saying all along. Although their time frame of 100 to 200,000 years is inflated due to evolutionary assumptions, Dr. Nathaniel Jensen, who has a PhD from Harvard University in Cell and Development Biology and is the author of the new book Replacing Darwin, says, There is a great danger to the evolutionary model in this study, in ways they don't quite realize yet. He added, The study suggests many, many species formed contemporaneously with modern human origins. We know from mitochondrial DNA clocks that modern humans formed within the last 6,000 years. Therefore, this study implies that many, many species formed within the last 6,000 years. All of the original kinds were created by God during Creation Week, about 6,000 years ago. This means all the original kinds are the same age, including humans. This doesn't mean all the species we have today are the same age. Species are still forming today. These species are simply varieties within a created kind. But it does mean all the kinds have the same age, and we would expect most species to have a similar age since they have arisen in the past 4,350 years from the kinds that got off the ark after the global flood of Noah's day. And we also expect groups to be genetically distinct. God created each kind to reproduce according to its kind in Genesis 1.11, Genesis 1.12 and Genesis 1.21. So each kind is an independent unit created by God and unable to reproduce with other kinds. Thanks for watching everyone and may you all have a blessed day.